Howdy cowboys and cowgirls, I'm Cowboy Jack, and today I'm really excited. We're someplace really unique and we're gonna learn some really cool things. Look at where we're at. That's right, we're at Texas Flight here in Spring, Texas at Hooks Airport. So we're gonna learn all about airplanes. You guys may have been on a big commercial flight before where you're going a long distance, but these little planes have a whole lot of power and they're really cool. And you, you can get on them and go a lot of different places. They're a lot smaller and they're run from different smaller airports. They can run from the big airports too, but today we're here at Hooks and we're gonna learn all about these planes. Come on, let's go check them out. All right, let's go check out this plane. Wow, so this right here is a single engine Cessna plane. Isn't that really cool? Now, this doesn't have an, an engine with a whole bunch of different propellers. It's got an engine right underneath this hood here, kind of like a car, and it drives this propeller. Now what this propeller does is gives us thrust for the airplane to go. Isn't that really cool? And it's got three wheels. If you don't, you never take a look at the wheels on an airplane, but see it's got one, two, and then one on the other side. Now, right in here is the cockpit. That's where the pilot sits. On, a, on an airplane, we call them pilots. It's a really important job because they're actually driving us through the air. And they sit right in here. But you know what I learned today that's really, really cool? I had no idea. Do you know where the gas tank is on an airplane? I didn't. It's right here in the wing, isn't that crazy? So this is aviation fuel that goes powers these. They don't, they don't run on gasoline or diesel. It's a different special blend of fuel to power these big machines. And these wings are really cool. They have a lot of different things on them. This, these planes are absolutely covered with different instruments. Just like this right here. You know what these are called? These are nav lights. So there's two on every wing and there's one on the tail fin as well. And what that does is at night, if you were to look up and see an airplane, you would know, okay, there's a green light and a white light plus another white light. So that means the plane is going this way. Or on the other side, you might see a nav light running with red, white, and another white on that side. So you would know, oh, the plane's going this way. It's a really complicated system, but it's really useful for people that know a lot about planes. You can tell exactly where a plane's going, even in the dark. These planes are really cool. So this device here does a lot of different things. See this, it actually moves up and down just like this. Whoa, and we can move it all around. Normally when we see something really powerful and strong on a big machine, we think that's powered by hydraulics and that's usually the case. These are actually mechanical, which means they run on an electric motor that gets the electricity from an alternator from that big motor that drives the whole plane. And so these are moved, there's a lot of different ways you can move an airplane, right? Planes don't drive on the road where it's just left, right, slow down, go fast, speed up, slow down, all that. You can actually turn in all kinds of different directions. And that's what these flaps do. These aren't actually called flaps, but when you would move these up or down, it would help the plane to lean like this and go like this. But these flaps right here, these control more like the lift. See, when they're like this, this would be great for takeoff. They're at like 10 degrees, and it helps the plane get up in the air really fast. Now, when they fold them all the way down, you might have seen that on a commercial flight if you, if you were sitting uh, by the wings. When you pull into an airport, they pull these all the way down, and that creates a lot of drag, so the airplane slows down really fast. Boy, I just love this airplane. They've got a bunch of different antennas on it, because you have to communicate with different towers when you're up in the air. You have to have radio, uh, radar, all kinds of different communication because you don't want to just be up in the air all by yourself. Other people need to know where you're at, how fast you're going, and when you're coming in. So inside the airplane, it looks a lot like an automobile just like a car that you might ride in, except there is no steering wheel in there. Guys, take a look at that. See, this has all kinds of gauges and there's a lot of different kinds of cockpits out there. Some cockpits have a lot of what's called steam gauges in them 
and other ones have what they call glass cockpits. And we're gonna get to see those because you know what they have here? A really cool flight simulator. That's where people come right here to Texas Flight and actually learn how to fly in a simulated environment before they actually get in an airplane. Well, you can actually get in an airplane pretty quick with a, with a teacher and learn in person, but the simulator is really important for like emergency situations. Like if they wanted to simulate losing an engine, what do you do? You would do it in the simulator first before doing it in a live airplane. But they teach all kinds of really cool stuff here. Like you could come here not knowing how to fly a plane at all, and through time, practice, and effort, you would become a pilot that could actually go out and fly all on your own. It's so cool. I don't want to leave this door open, so I'm going to go ahead and close it back up. Whew. And see that hinge works just kind of like a car door. So we talked about that. The flaps help with thrust. Those other flaps make it go like this. Now on the tail, this flap here, it helps the plane turn just like this. So if you just use that, you would just be turning side to side, not very exciting. But if you use it in combination with those other flaps, you can go and all over the place. You can turn basically any direction you would want to ever. And it's really cool because you use all these different systems. That's, that's why a pilot has such a tough job because we're not driving on our road, we're driving in the air. And so they can turn and go any single way they want. There's no road underneath them. They make their own path. And this also goes up and down, just like that other one. Boy, I mean, there's just crazy amount to see. Oh, hold on, I gotta show you this. This is really cool. Have you ever seen an airplane that's getting an engine job done? Look at this, whoa. So this airplane actually has its engine pulled off right now, and it's being worked on in the shop right next door. You know, one thing that's really important about airplanes that everybody has to know is that it's not all just the glamour of being a pilot and getting to drive these things. The people that take care of them are extremely skilled workers. They have to know so many different systems. They have to know about combustion engines, electrical systems, alternators, all kinds of communication devices and all that stuff. And they actually have a shop right of, the, of their very own right here at Texas Flight, right next door. Do you guys want to go check it out? All right, cowboys and cowgirls, like I said, here at Texas Flight, they have their own mechanic shop so they can take care of all their planes. I think they have about 15 airplanes of their own right here at, at Hooks Airport. So that's a big job taking care of all those. Some people send them out to a mechanic or have a mechanic come in and work on them, but they actually have mechanics that work for them here because it's such an important piece of the puzzle. We have an airplane, you have to take care of it, you have to maintain it. And you have to log that maintenance with a, a governing body to make sure that you're not taking off in something that isn't safe for flight. So this airplane right here, wow, this is a little bit different from that one we looked at next door. This is actually a twin engine airplane. So you can see there's an engine right here and an engine on that other side right there. Now. This airplane is undergoing its annual system check right now. So that means they basically tear it all apart, check every piece. They have to calibrate every instrument. They have to check the tension on all the cables, make sure the engine is in top, tip top shape, all gaskets. I mean, this is a, just an internal combustion engine. It's not like the engine of a car because these are, the way the uh, combustion chambers are set up and the pistons and everything, they're opposite of each other in like a, regular car, you would have something called a V8. That's where everything is in a V shape. These are opposing combustion. But anyways, they're doing a great job taking this all apart and checking every part. You know, being an airplane mechanic is an incredible career path. It's a really skilled job. So they do a great job on all these. I mean, they're even taking off the, the nose of the plane here and checking all of this electrical stuff. And look, I mean, the tools that you use are a lot like the tools that an auto mechanic uses. And we've learned about an auto mechanic before. That's a really important job too, because you have to keep your vehicle running just like you would want to keep your plane in tip top shape. So I'm really grateful that these guys know how to work on these things. So all of us can just keep on up in the air and enjoying ourselves flying. <laughs> All right, cowboys and cowgirls, just like we talked about, they have a really cool flight simulator here at, at Texas Flight. See, 
Redbird Flight Simulations. Wow, right here at Texas Flight, because that's where we are today. My buddy Chris right here is an actual flight instructor, and he knows he teaches a whole lot of folks how to fly. He's in here doing a flight right now, and he said we could hop in and take a look with him. You guys want to come on? Whoa. Hey, Chris. Hey, Cowboy Jack. Wow, how's the skies today? Clear, clear, as, clear as can be, not a cloud in the sky. Wow, so you're actually, I mean, this is a simulator, but it's simulating like you're actually flying this airplane right here. Yes, sir, that's correct. And what we'll do is we'll teach our students how to fly this aircraft first. And then once they know how to do this aircraft, then we'll put them outside on the real airplane you were just looking at. Wow. I mean, this looks like real life. That is so cool. And I see you're coming up to an airstrip there. Yes, sir. This is Dave Wayne Hooks that we're landing at right now. So this is an actual, does this look like it actually looks outside? Yes, sir. That's incredible. And all these gauges are just like they would be in a, in a steam gauge airplane, right? Yes, sir. We have the airspeed indicator. This is an attitude indicator or altitude and other instruments that also help me to fly the airplane. This is so crazy. And see this right here, I know this because he already taught me. This is called the yoke. And that's basically the steering wheel of an airplane. But a whole lot of other devices. See, he's working his hands on the throttle and the nose operation the right there. And see, there's also pedals, just kind of like gas and brake on a car, but that's not what they do. He is coming in for a real landing right here at David Hook's airport. These lights here tell me I'm not too high and I'm not too low. Ooh, the anticipation's got me. This is going to be a great landing. Very, very uh, skillful landing to try to do. One of the main talents that we'll teach you here when you become a pilot. Wow, look at that. We're back on terra firma. Hey, that was a fantastic, that was the smoothest landing I've ever felt in my entire life. Well, thank you, Cowboy Jack. <laughs> See, that's really great. We're here with, with uh, Chris, and he, like I said, he actually teaches folks how to be a pilot. So he's got a lot of experience, and flying in this simulator is just kind of like having a little bit of fun so we could see exactly what it looks like. But he's very well qualified to go out and fly in a real airplane. Wow, and you can see, I mean, guys, look, it looks exactly like inside an airplane because you can see all the way around. We're right in Spring, Texas, so you can see all these really pretty trees, of course. Wow. Well, hey, thank you for showing us that. That was incredible. Yes, sir, Cowboy Jack. Wow. Let, back right here. Whew, let me get out of this. Boy, that simulator is really, really cool. That's like flying without actually flying. <laughs> hey, do you guys know how they move an airplane like this? It's actually a really cool process. You have this device here that connects to that bottom wheel and you just use your muscles to pull it out. Do you guys think Cowboy Jack can pull a, pull a plane? I never have tried before, but I'm gonna give it a shot now. Let's see. Look at this. I'm actually pulling an airplane with my muscles. That's so cool. Never done this before and here I am doing it. Wow. And see, I think we're about where we need to be because these guys are about to take off. So I did my part and here we are. Wow, I didn't know you, you assume that these airplanes are really big, heavy machines, but you have to remember they have to fly. So they have to be lightweight as well. And I'm not super duper strong. I am big and have muscles, but I didn't think I could pull an airplane and I just did it effortlessly. <laughs> Hey guys, I thought I'd just take this airplane for a spin real quick. <laughs> well, I'm not actually qualified to fly this plane, but my friend Chris, the flight instructor here at Texas Flight is. And so, could you tell me what a few of these things are? Absolutely, Cowboy Jack. So this gauge tells us how fast we're going through the air. And we can go typically about 110 miles an hour, or knots as we call it in aviation. This tells me whether we're in a climb or a dive, this tells me my pitch. This we can set the current altimeter setting to, and it will tell me how high we are. Currently at Hooks uh, Airport, we're only 152 feet off the ground. This tells us our direction that we're flying. We're, we're flying east, 
or north. This tells me how fast we're climbing, 500 feet a minute or even 1,000 feet a minute. Wow. This I mean, is a GPS, just like in your car, but we can go to different airports and this will tell us how to get there. Wow, so that, that's a GPS just like on your phone or in your vehicle or even on your boat. Same that's, concept. That's right, Cowboy Jack. And this is the yoke. I remember this is the yoke. That's right. That's really cool. I feel like I'm flying. I'm not, but... <laughs> well, thank you for showing us around. This has been really, really cool. Of course. All right, well, I better get out of this driver's seat before somebody catches me here. I'm not qualified to do this. All right, wow, let's take a look at this plane. This one's a lot bigger than those others. So this is a Cessna 206. It's a single engine airplane, but look at the size of this propeller. It's much larger than those others. And this engine actually has a turbo in it. So this is like a performance plane. When you first start learning, you learn on those smaller planes. This plane has a much larger engine and it's also wider and just all around bigger. Like it's got these big old tires down here. Now these kind of tires like this would enable the plane to land on all kinds of surfaces. I mean, all kinds of planes can land on all kinds of surfaces. But when you have this kind of setup with these bigger tires, you can actually get out of places a lot faster. Like if you wanted to take off on a really short runway or you were in an open field, but you didn't have that long of a distance, this uh, tire right here being a bigger creates a, a better angle for this thing to take off the ground faster. So like that other airplane, I was really having to crouch down and I am about six feet tall. This is still pretty tall, but wow. I mean, this airplane is really cool. And as you can see on the inside, it seats a lot more people. See, look right there. You've got the pilot, the co-pilot, two passengers, and even two more passengers in the way, way back. That's really cool. Wow, and I mean, it's got all the same devices as those other planes. It's just bigger and stronger and faster. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. Wow, it's been such an incredible adventure here, learning all about these airplanes with our friends here at Texas Flight in Spring, Texas at Hooks Airport. Wow, I mean, I had never really been in one of these small planes before, seen exactly how they work, learned about these flaps and different devices. I forget what this one's called again. And my favorite fact from the day is that the fuel tanks are right here in the wings. So I hope you had a great time with us today. If you did, make sure to click subscribe to Cowboy Jack, and that way you can come with us on all of our adventures because we like to go on an adventure at least every week. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, all you folks, make sure to follow Cowboy Jack on social media, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, all those things so you can get special behind the scenes footage and also extra cool ways to connect with the show. All right, cowboys and cowgirls, thanks for joining me today. And until I see you next time, yeah!